Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing Fable The Journey from the um, the next installment in the Fable series. Now I was a bit worried about this one because it is only for Connect. Now if anybody's ever seen me on Connect, I don't look incredible when I'm doing it. Um, and I can't really imagine the previous um, actions in Fable working with Connect. It's just fighting is a large part of the game and I don't see how they could incorporate that. And then, of course, the socialising, which is also a major part. Fable and Fable the Lost Chapters, Fable 2 and Fable 3 were all very good games, so it's got a lot on its shoulders. And some of the bosses as well were incredible. Jack of Blades in Fable 1 and Fable the Lost Chapters was a very hard boss to defeat, and you formed a strong hatred to him over the course of the game. And then when he had his dragon form in Fable the Lost Chapters, he was very easy to defeat, even at my young age when I played Fable the Lost Chapters. But still quite challenging, and a scary boss nonetheless. But in Fable 2, the Fable series let us down with Lord Lucian, who was an incredibly easy boss. I'm sure you had a hatred towards him after, you know, he shoots your dog, for heaven's sake. But, yeah, all you have to do is shoot him in the head, and that's it. And then in Fable 3, they certainly made up for it with, for it with the Crawler. And yeah, uh, Walter and the Crawler are not best friends. He was a very fearsome character. And uh, yeah, I'm scared of him. <laughs> and then with him comes the darkness, which devours Albion. And you have to stop that. See what I mean? Poor Walter. I mean, just an amazing character. So what can you expect from Fable the Journey? Well, no cheese, sadly. But you will get to meet the main character, who's called Gabriel, and you're going to be controlling him throughout the course of the game. Very lovable character, very fun, and the story that he will share with you will pull you in. Remember, Teresa, some of you may, from Fable 1 and Fable the Lost Chapters, your sister, in a bandit, um, whatever, raid, <laughs> her eyes get gorged out. And she's a blind seeress. I don't know why she has eyes in Fable 2 when she guides you on your journey. And also in Fable 3, she comes to help you as well throughout your um, mission. Well, guess what? Oh my gosh, you're actually never going to guess this. Like, never. Yeah, she's back again. Fable the journey, but she's weaker this time. So you've got to help her out. Yeah, and she's... Yeah, uh, it's, it's just fantastic. There is none, really. Albion's future was entrusted to me. I have watched many futures stretch before me, awakening long forgotten nightmares. Only a solitary truth remains. I need a hero to rid Albion of evil. I think it's very clever they incorporated a story into the advert um, quite a bit. As you can see, they are overreacting with the controls of the Kinect. They aren't that accurate, but they are very good. So I hope that's given you a bit of an insight, really. Um, the controls on carriage are incredible. And you do form a bond. I know it sounds cheesy. You do form a bond with the horse, but it's it's an incredible journey. Um, when you're fighting, the fights are very regular, and it's quite painful doing them, really, but because you're constantly shooting with your arms. They have created quite the winning combination and your muscles will be massive I can guarantee that after playing this game I mean I would pull up pictures of my own muscles but uh camera broke at the sheer sight of them uh yeah <clears throat> da, 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 da. 
Na 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 na. Sorry. <laughs> ah, typical me. So the review rating, anyway, and of singing. Uh, so the good points are good controls, especially on carriage. Great graphics, goes in and out of cutscenes. That's thanks to the Unreal Engine. Pulling in storyline, lovable characters, flowing game, following from the previous four, many enemies to discover and battle, and obviously it's a very challenging game. Bad points are that the enemy fights are very repetitious and it's hard to play for long periods of time. Some controls can be off in battle. Alright, so click the link above, if it works, to go and watch the previous review. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more on film, television, gaming and dark basic programming. This has been Amy. And see ya. Cheese.